Hey guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. This has been one that's been requested for a little bit. Before we start, we just want to make a big thank you to Phone Blast for shouting us out in one of the recent videos. It really helped us out and we got a lot of noise from their subscribers, so we thank you. And if you guys are here from Phone Blast, thank you for coming. I hope you guys like the channel. But with this video, we are going to be going over how I set up the internals for my Alpha Trooper and explaining how to make them. But I already have an Alpha Trooper, so I don't really need to make new internals for an Alpha Trooper. So I'm going to be taking the same sort of internals that I have in the Alpha Trooper and I'll put it into a Retaliator. So I already have a Retaliator here ready to go. And then I have all the parts that you might need in order to make this. And we're just going to show you guys how to make it and what parts you need. Alright, so now we're going to be going over everything you need in order to build these homemade internals. Went to the store, grabbed everything else that I needed, and then now we'll cut to some clips of us getting to the store so we can show you exactly what parts you need. But it's actually very simple. Mostly what you need, half inch PVC, three quarter inch PVC, and then one inch PVC. That is how you build this breech uh, bolt sled sort of setup. And then you also need some acrylic for these side plates if you're doing it for a retaliator. For an alpha trooper, I didn't need them. Uh, you're also gonna need two O-rings, one for the breech right here, and then another one for the plunge rod. I don't have a second one. So we'll scavenge one from somewhere. <laughs> I think we might have gotten at Lowe's. <laughs> and yeah, they have three rods down there, I think. Okay, so five foot, five foot, four. Okay. Okay. Uh, it, it needs to be the same length, right? Um, so, so, wait, uh, it's like two inches too short. This threaded rod right here. Alright, go. Not all fit. 1024. Yeah, that's what I mean. So this is for building the plunger rod, and the first thing you need is to go thread rod to thread it off with. But don't drop it. Uh, additionally, I already have these, but uh, wa washers. I don't know where they have them in this place. I think they're on the other side. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, we were right next to them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, for what I do, I get the ones that are one and a quarter inch, but then I have to sew oh, those are not what I want. You want the thick ones. I'll just use these for demonstration. So I, I usually get the, the one and a quarter inch ones. These ones, usually these ones with a smaller inner hole, and I have to cut down the outside until it fits in the plunger tube. But I have some, so I'm not getting any. Perfect. I can get 1024. Except they don't have 1024. Yeah, pranked. What the fuck? They have 1032, 832. That's wrong. <laughs> Metric? <laughs> Freedom units only. It's fine. So. One and a quarter by 20 is basically 1024, right? <laughs> yeah. Basically the same. And basically, what I'm going to use these metal spacers for is for. 
So, they have nylon spacers at Lowe's, I believe, are in 1024. Oh, wait, half inch OD. 4 by 20 Well, guess that'll do. We just want to go to Lowe's. Yeah? <laughs> that was cool. Probably find everything there. Uh, yeah, you just leap up and grab it. <laughs> separates between the, the o-ring section and the catch notch and then another one for the spring guide and, but uh the no one will, might unthread over time so i just use the lock ones these, these are the wrong size ones. these are normal ones oh they're locked yeah, I gotta get those lock nuts so they don't come off ever. Okay. Wait, 1032. I think I opened the wrong one. Oh, here's 1024. We have to go back to my house, and the nuts that I have are 1032 and not 1024. <laughs> Threaded rocks? No, well, yeah. But also, <laughs> it's one over from the threaded rods. I thought we were on the threaded rod aisle. Yeah. You can use polycarb, but I just use acrylic. Already have to. High lobster. It's only 350, dude. Baby, baby stuff. <laughs> I got a rod, so I don't need that. Do you have epoxy? Yeah. And I have super glue. All the good stuff. I don't even think I use epoxy on this. I just use like PVC cement. Huh. You have PVC cement? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two tubes of it. <laughs> I bought myself one, and my parents bought themselves one, and now parents are both in my room. Harambe's finest. Quality material. Did I walk past it? <gasps> Dog! <laughs> yeah. Al 16. Uh, well, first things first. Oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> it's real close though. Uh, but yeah, for this. Uh, for the homemade bolt sled, I use one inch, three quarter inch, and half an inch. All of them. So I take it down from my funny tube side down to brass. And then over here is what I use for my plunger tube. It's one and a half inch sink drain. It's slightly smaller than a long shot plunger tube, but it's still. They're not expensive. They're oh, yeah. Very nice. Super durable. There. 
a little bit smaller than a long shot plunger tube, but they're still really nice, really good sized plunger tubes. Yeah, I can even get them in metal if I really try. But I have. And they also need like a retaliator and various forms of brass. This file. I have a file set. You do? Yeah. Fuck that file.